Welcome back to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Enders Island. Today is Saturday of the third week of Easter, and I'm your host, Deacon Francis Valier. Our Lexio Divina, our divine reading, is from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 6, verses 60 through 69. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty, ever-living God, let us feel your compassion more readily during these days when, by your gift, we have known it more fully, so that those you have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of your truth through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our scripture passage. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Many of the disciples of Jesus who were listening said, This saying is hard. Who can accept it? Since Jesus knew that his disciples were murmuring about this, he said to them, Does this shock you? What if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life, while the flesh is of no avail. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But there are some of you who do not believe. Jesus knew from the beginning the ones who would not believe, and the one who would betray him. And he said, For this reason I have told you, that no one can come to me unless it is granted him by my Father. As a result of this, many of his disciples returned to their former way of life and no longer walked with him. Jesus then said to the twelve, Do you also want to leave? Simon Peter answered him, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Through the words of the Gospel, may our sins be wiped away. In today's Gospel reading, according to St. John, we conclude the Bread of Life discourse, this discussion of Jesus as the Bread of Life. Not only the Jews who heard him, but Jesus' own disciples had great difficulties accepting his call to eat his flesh and drink his blood as a way of life. And so they say this saying is hard. Who can accept it? And certainly on the basis of the words by themselves, we can sympathize with them. If we had been there, we would surely have had problems also. Jesus is fully aware of their difficulty. And so he says, does this shock you? If they have problems with this, how will they react when he rises from the dead? and ascends to his Father. This is an indication that the acceptance of the resurrection was very much a matter of faith. No one literally saw Jesus rise from the dead. There was a faith conviction that it had taken place. Jesus then points out where the problem really lies. It is the spirit that gives life, the flesh, is useless. The words I spoke to you are spirit and life. The disciples are hearing Jesus' words only in the flesh and not with the penetrating eyes of the spirit. So there are some who cannot accept what he's saying. To understand the real meaning of Jesus' words comes from the gift, the grace of faith. No one can come to me unless it is granted him by the Father. 
And so after this, many of his disciples left him and stopped going with him. Faith is a gift. It is a gift to open to all, but it is a gift to which one needs to be open to receive. Jesus then turns to the 12, looks at them, hey, what about you? Do you want to go away too? Peter then, in the name of all, makes his profound act of trust, of faith, and commitment. He says, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we believe, we know that you are the Holy One of God. In other words, they acknowledge Jesus as the Messiah, God's chosen messenger, who is uniquely united with him. There is really no viable alternative to the way of Jesus, even when things happen which are difficult to understand or accept. The way of Jesus is not just adherence to a religious sect. It is to see that the way he proposes is the way for every human being to live. To assimilate Jesus into one's life is not just to become a good Christian, but a perfect human being on the model of Jesus, who is himself God in human flesh. Yet, how many Christians stop believing and no longer walk Jesus' way? Perhaps we, too, have wavered more than once. Let us ask for the faith and strength to stay with him and experience the life that only he can give. Above all, help us, Lord, to see our world with the eyes of Jesus and to help others to do the same. As usual, after our closing prayer, we read this scripture passage again, contemplate its message, and concentrate on a thought that the Holy Spirit places in your heart. This can be either through a verse or even just a small word from this scripture passage. Then ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you, and more importantly, how you may spiritually grow in imitation of Jesus, fulfilling the will of our Heavenly Father. Let us complete our divine reading with a closing prayer, and let us pray. Having contemplated your divine word and embraced the sacred truths you teach us, complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Jesus be upon you always and in all ways. And may his generous blessings fill your day with joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you enjoy listening to these daily meditations, please click that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already done so, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And also click on the bell icon so that you don't miss the new meditations that come to you each and every day. And please help support our channel by sharing these links with others. Pass them along to your friends and relatives as well. God bless you all and have a great day. And join us again tomorrow for another Lexio Divina, a divine reading of God's sacred word. Pax et bonum omnibus. Peace and blessings to all.